impossible. Welcome back everybody as we can finally get this game number three underway. Thank God for that. We are of course Hefla TV. My name is Coacher. With me is Mito and well this is the Tech Lab Cup Minsk online qualifiers and I mean we were just so close to actually having Power Rangers have to forfeit this third game but by the looks of it we're gonna have a remake. So just a second as we're gonna come back in I think we can just probably keep on talking I think and well I completely forgot to unmute Skype but that doesn't matter too much because you all the viewers heard me but yeah it's gonna be rehosted fast so we just join the new lobby and it's gonna be fine at least I think there's no actual point of closing the not closing the stream but after going to load in anyway and I think if you're trying to talk you're muted on Skype ah oh, no I wasn't trying to talk I just didn't know if you're talking to me or talking to the audience so I just yeah, I'm, I'm took make the safest route <laughs> it, it's so hot here that I'm plus the, the waiting the anxiety of whether it, this game will happen or not it was too much for me too much <laughs> It's hot because you're hot. <laughs> oh, 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 thank you. <laughs> oh, no, that, that's a little steamy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good stuff. Well, players are in already at least. They are ready as well. I think we might have to wait for... No, never mind. We do not have to wait. So I'm just hoping my microphone won't go... Okay, looks like it's fine. So spectators loading in as well. One more and yeah, we're all ready to go. Draft about to get underway. All is peachy and yes, this is Power Rangers versus Dream Team. Game number three. I mean, I've <laughs> completely messed up the first intro. But I don't really care that much because all that matters is that we'll actually get to see this game. And Mito, any predictions about how this game number three could pan out? Well, it's hard to say because both of the games that the team won, it felt like whoever had the lead was in pretty much in control. And the team that had the control never let loose. And nothing really came out of the expectations so far. But this time, we do see that Batrider first pick. And this is just such a high value pick. Um, there's nothing else that really needs to be said about that, right? Everyone recognizes this hero as being the most picked, most banned hero in the game. Um, by the way, just out of curiosity, do you know what's the most picked hero in Dota 2? Like overall, like lifetime? Yeah, all time. All time. Well, I have to say I don't, but making a guess... Oh, is it most picked or and most banned together no, no, no. or just, just most picked? most picked. Okay... Life dealer. You are wrong. It's a support. Maybe. Shadow Demon. No. Okay, Perfect. so I'm just gonna tell everybody what exactly are the most played heroes in the history of Dota 2. First place, it's Rubik. Second, it's Dark Seer. Third, it's Nature's Prophet. So there you have it guys. And if you're wondering how many games have been played, I already forgot the exact statistics. And guys, you have to think our earlier stats man, it's Prophet. He was the one who actually told me about these. So Furion has like 2,700 games or something like that. And wow, yeah, it, it's all around like 2,000 to 
really, really bordering, like, reaching 3,000. So, wow, Dream Team, these are some huge picks. This looks like um, a Chinese draft. A first pick Brewmaster, oh my god, Dream Team, are they becoming the second Dream Time? <laughs> With Brewmaster <laughs> and Disruptor. Man, it's going to be hard to differentiate between the two DT teams. <laughs> well, it's the case for most people at least. I mean, since I've had the pleasure to cast Dream Team for quite quite a while now, at least I make the difference. But like you said, the Brewmaster definitely looks like a pick from Dream Time instead. And Power Rangers, what's their second pick actually going to be? I mean, I guess the Shadow Demon is available, although without the Mirana, it's not that strong of a hero. They could go for a Cent or if they want to send the Batrider mid. Or I'm actually not too sure what would be good against a Disruptor Brewmaster. Did you know Disruptor in Dota 1 was essentially the best counter to Brewmaster? Because if Brewmaster ever blinks in, clicks on the ultimate, but if you're fast with the Disruptor, you glimpse the Brewmaster as soon as he blinks and just cast the ultimate, you will glimpse him all the way back and put his ultimate on cooldown. Um, I don't know if that's still the case in Dota 2. Uh, but the Disruptor pick at the same time is also a counter pick towards the Batrider as well as just preventing Power Rangers from grabbing the counter to Brew because you look at it, if Batrider blinks in, you can just disrupt him and glimpse him away and if they allow Power Rangers to grab the Disruptor, the same thing will happen and not only that, if Brewmaster blinks in if they don't want to glimpse him, they're like, hey, we're going to kill you instantly drop the Static Storm, what's a Brewmaster going to do um, apart from just getting picked off outright so it's a beautiful second pick whereas Power Rangers they have given off their carry very very early so this is a great opportunity for Dream Time to figure out how they're gonna shut this hero down because just now they, Dream Time were the ones who played the Luna and then they ran it extremely successfully look at Nubik that guy was insane 28 minutes in the game 279 last hits what was it I forgot his kill death Se ratio, but yeah, it, I think he only died once and had at least seven kills. Yeah, something like that. It's ridiculous. So Power Rangers, like, yeah, this time it's our turn to show you how to play this hero. So, looking well, forward to it. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, can they really out to New Week's Luna? It's gonna be hard for them because that Luna he got so much far one contested for such a long time, and well. As he started joining fights, he already had the items necessary to actually sustain himself in the fights and dish out the damage. But yeah. so far, well, this Luna, I mean, Dream Team, they didn't go for the BKB. But up against the Brewmaster, I think he definitely needs to go for one. Because otherwise, he's just going to spend all his time in the Cyclone. And looking at Power Rangers, anything can happen. It, it's so hard to predict with these heroes. Um... Sanking is available. Ancient Apparition is available if anyone's interested. Uh, what else am I missing here? So Centaur has been banned out. I mean, in the earlier game phase, like the pick phase at least, you can only predict mostly based on what's popular. But Dream Team here has kind of thrown throw me off a little bit more. And it's... I would like to see that Viper once again, to be quite frank, and just run the aggressive trial lane, put the pressure on the Luna, never, just never let her go. And that is definitely one way to just counter the Luna, it's kind of like with a Lycan as well, just aggressive trial lane against it is the most effective way of shutting the hero down. Of course you have to make sure that your trial lane actually wins as well, because if you start feeding in the Luna then it's going to be even worse off than it could have been, but Dream Team? They actually need themselves still an offlaner, which Power Rangers banned out both the Dark Chair and the Centaur. I mean, I guess they could run an aggressive trial lane, like you said, or maybe even send the Brewmaster offlane. Some teams actually do still do that. But, well, Dream Team, they're taking a lot of time, but going for the Weaver in the end. Uh -huh. And, yeah, so far, Weaver up against Luna, it's, it's not a bad matchup by any means. Um... If Luna Eclipse, Weaver, you can just Sukuchi out of trouble. And in late game portion, it feels like these two heroes can go head to toe. I mean, head to head. Um, I don't know. Like, it, it's... Anything can happen. <laughs> That's all I can say. Anything <laughs> can happen in drafts. 
I mean, Power and Rangers, they do draft themselves the Dazzle now, so that's a really good hero to actually keep hero, other heroes alive. Especially against, I mean, Brewmaster blinks in, Disruptor puts down the Static Storm, but Dazzle, if he stays far enough back, he can still maybe save people with the Shallow Grave, but oh, Dream Team, PGG, Enigma in the making. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be, like, big. This, this game is gonna be really big. Um, especially the Midnight Pulse. Did you see, like, the buff to the range? Yeah, it's absolutely <laughs> sick. I mean, but do you think Dream Team, they do lack a, an offlaner because they're not gonna go aggressive try them with this, probably. They could send the Enigma offlane, but Dream Team, they usually do run the Enigma in the jungle. So do you think that a Tide Hunter might be a possible pick for them as the last one? Oh yeah, I mean, why not? Tidehunter paired up with Luna can just go take those Ancients so freaking fast. Tidehunter can just tank with the Anchor Smash. <coughs> those Ancients will practically do no damage to either the Tidehunter or the Luna. And I don't see why not. Just even more minus armor on top. But you're kind of in the danger of only having that single core. Sure, Luna is the one of the best late game carries in the game, but... I I just don't th feel like the current patch is very well suited, catered to a 4 protect 1 kind of strat. If you look at the Southeast Asian qualifiers, we saw Scythe Gaming always playing that 4 protect 1, ensuring Miracle's farm. Um, people are saying, yeah, Miracle, he needs to find new teammates. But I, I think the real problem is more of the strategies they've been running. That 4 protect 1 just doesn't work very well right now. And if you do run a full protect one, it's so easy to shut down. You just grab a Doombringer or something. And in team fights, you just Doom that carry and he has he's rendered useless, essentially. So, wow. Okay, so this is a lot of armor stacking from Power Rangers. And if I were Dreamtime right now, I'd probably opt to battle the Puck. Because Puck, the Dream Coil, the entire combo, it sets up perfectly for the Lich. It can go mid, it can go off lane. And between Disruptor Weaver, there's not that much of a cure opportunity on the puck if he saves it loose three orb and has phase shift. And Glimpse, always to get you back. Of course, they would have to have vision of it, and puck still super elusive. But do you think the Lich pick actually is maybe a tiny bit because of the Chain Frost having the mini stun even against PKBs? I mean, I mean well, of course, I the Lich can be <laughs> is really strong otherwise as well, but. That's just one extra thing to maybe stop the Enigma's black hole. But right now, what does Power Ranger have when Brewmaster blinks in and dives in on you? You know, like who's going to be in the front lines tanking up for Power Rangers? That's my question. And maybe to me, it Dragon feels like Knight? Power Rangers the puck are... gets banned. <laughs> I think Power Rangers are going to do dual lanes, like Lich plus somebody in the dual off lane and let Dazzle and Luna top. Because you look at it, they, they know Dream Time, Enigma is going to be in the jungle. So the laning stage won't be as strong as long as they scatter the Enigma coming in. Um, so in that case, running Lich plus one and running Dazzle Luna on top, they should have a pretty good time at least doing the laning phase. But I'm not a huge fan of Dazzle plus Lich. It feels awkward. And with this Axe pickup, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, we were talking about maybe Dream Team going for the Tide Hunter, but nope, the axe for them as the Tide Hunter picked up by Power Rangers. And the Ravage is actually re a really nice thing to maybe counter the Black Hole somewhat because it just reaches so far. But the axe, direct counter to the Dazzle Land, well, I mean, there are some pretty squishy heroes on Power Rangers anyway. Oh my god, well, this axe. It might be sick for them, but Power Rangers, one good thing for them is actually that Cheshire Cat, he's back now, so they don't have the stand-in. They're with their full five-man roster at every least. Yep. So, shall we introduce the players and who's playing what? <laughs> yes, I guess we shall. As for Dream Team on the Radiant side, ACN playing on the Disruptor, who is probably no fear. Newbic playing the Weaver with PGG, of course, on the Enigma, leaving Afterlife to go at the moment towards the offlane on the Axe. And ZX C going to play the mid lane Brewmaster. Actually, starts with a Magic Stick, so they're expecting, or well, I guess they check, like, okay, Scandal, Batrider, I have to get a Magic Stick. <laughs> okay, so on the Dire side, we're gonna have Moon, once again, gonna be playing as a carry, Luna, this, and FNG gonna be on the support, Dazzle. And we are going to see a 2-1-2 coming out of Power Rangers. 
They're going to have Cheshire Cat playing as an offlane Tide Hunter along with J4 on the support lich. And finally, we're going to have Scandal playing as a Batrider mid solo. <clears throat> and in this mid lane matchup, I guess Scandal should have the upper hand against the Brewmaster, but does Scandal actually have some kill potential over the Brewmaster as well? I don't think so. If the Brewmaster plays this right, he shouldn't have a chance to kill ZXC. Um, I think to some extent, like, Patrider mid isn't as strong as maybe, like, if he would have been left solo offlane against the Axe. Because you just need the extra space to chase heroes down with the fry Firefly on top of them and the sticky napalm stacks. But mid lane, the tower is just way too close for that. Yeah, it is way too close for comfort, but... I guess Scandal has played Barrett mid a lot of times as well, so he's very well versed and experienced in this 1v1 matchup with the Batrider. And I guess with these sticky napalms that he's stacking up, he should be able to get the laning, at least the last hit advantage over CXC. Well, every time he goes for the sticky napalm, of course, that's another stack of magic stick for Brewmaster, which even without the bottle allows him to just farm with the Thunderclap. So it's kind of a wash just using the magic stick. Bottom lane, some harassment towards J4, but Cheshire Cat, he should be pretty happy in this lane with the Lich constantly denying one creep. Yeah, Dream Time, right now what they need, oh sorry, Dream Team, what they need right now is to just not die and just do well and like just be able to get your last hits in the lane and wait for the rotation coming out of PGG. Enigma being like the, one of the fastest, if not the fastest jungler in the game, he will have level 6 roughly 5 minutes in the game and so at 5 minutes we should expect to see big rotations coming out of PGG but on, no, not just that, right now the Malefice is actually really really strong so he does have the ganking opportunity to be able to rotate early if he wishes to. Well the Malefice, I mean, and I ever since it got buff, oh god, that's the first blood moon. I did not actually see that happening, at least not that early. Well, at least we got the end of it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, how much did you see of it, actually? Um, I saw it when they were right-clicking him down to about one-third of his HP. <laughs> well, at least he just DPs back in straight away. He's level 3, well, Cheshire Cat, of course, about to hit level 3, but they're sharing the experience a little bit. And, to be honest, after some time, Oh, Afterlife, he got slowed down again, the right clicks are coming in Moon, not enough mana for yet another loose and pimp, they would have gotten the kill, at least they get the healing salve off of him, but the poison touch, oh no, it's not enough. Well, this axe is, he's put into a dilemma, does he go back to base instantly? He just got here, and at the same time, it's not like he has an option to go into the jungle, because PGG is already there, um, so it is very, very tough for him. And perhaps one of the best things he can do in this game is simply avoid the lane. Go and pull the enemy creep wave. Oh, they get the, the glimpse of J4, tower. Lich in huge trouble. But they're going on Disruptor instead. There's the Anchor Smash, one more right click, Cheshire Cat. At least gets the counter kill. There's now though a huge creep wave chasing him as well. He should be fine. Newbik gonna go for the chase. Another Anchor Smash, just reducing the out damage output of Newbik. And well, Cheshire Cat, he's fine. He has a healing salve as well. Has to make sure that the creeps won't cancel it if he activates it now, but... He's going to be fine, so we one for one there. Yeah, ultimately, like once PGG starts rotating, it will be a lot better for Nubik in this lane. But so far, Nubik, you look at his last hits; it's only eight for two, and he didn't even get the kill. So, Power Rangers, they're they're playing smart. They're punishing the fact that hey, there's going to be a jungler, which means your laning is going to be slightly weaker until those rotations come. Oh. And if we have vision of your rotations, then it's going to be easy. Easy laning all day long. They even have a double jungle because Afterlife is in the dire jungle on the axe. They actually mean Dream Team, that's maybe a pretty smart decision because Power Ranger, I don't think they know to expect this, but oh, J4, he's going to scout out the axe now. Or is he? No. He wanted to go for the stack, and if the stack had been dead, they would have known Afterlife is there. But oh, Afterlife actually, he's gonna get caught by two FNGs there. Poison Touch level 2, the Frost Blast as well. And Afterlife, just look at his movement speed. It's almost nothing FNG. He's going up close, and they will get the kill Cheshire Cat. Even speeding in with the Haste Rune, which might have not been necessary. So he's losing just some XP time. But a kill nevertheless, and shutting down the Axe. I mean, if the Axe doesn't get an early start, then he might be a complete non-factor in the game. 
Yeah, so the axe is struggling in the off lane with zero kill two deaths. I mean, we're only four and a half minutes into the game. This this has got to hurt. And if you look at the safe lane as well, it's not like they're farming great. Weaver, 17, 18 last hits. Luna is well ahead with with already like halfway to that Helm of Dominator. That's pretty scary if you ask me. At least mid lane, it's pretty damn even. 27 and 2 compared to 28 and 2. ZXC having a small advantage at the moment and looks like they're both actually rushing for Blink Tiger Scandal a little bit ahead due to him not having the magic stick. But, I mean, if they just continue farming without getting any kills or dying in return, they're gonna have really fast Blink Tigers, like, at the 8 minute mark, if not sooner. Yeah, PGG is already waiting at mid. Um, he wants to see things happening. But even though the Axe died, right, he did scout out some of the stacks that Bat Batrider is wanting to take, so... Be, be interested to see if DT decides to contest. I highly doubt it, though, because... Enigma, being one of the fastest junglers, he should be able to get his own items and not, not care as much. Yeah, he's doing actually not that great because of the rotations. Usually Enigma just wants to completely farm up until like level 6 maybe, boots and soul ring, but since he did help out with getting the kill on J4 before, he actually lost some farming time and of course using the Malphys, it lowers your mana as well, so... Mm -hmm. It actually hurt him a little bit because he is sitting at 25 last hits, uh, 6 minutes in. It's not the fastest jungling coming out by him at the moment. Yeah, now Power Rangers are going for a tier 1 push and Dream Team, they're looking to answer it. And it looks like a lot of rotations have come bottom. Oh god, they're gonna get Chesarket, maybe he's dropping low Malphys, Newbie coming in as well, and Chesarket is still alive, Magic Stick, does he actually survive? Oh god, the last right click, it's still not enough, the Stout Shield, oh god, and Chafer killed off Newbie in return and PGG. He falls as well. What a disaster. Yeah, not only that, I'm surprised the top tier 1 tower didn't fall for the dream, time, uh, dream Team. Because Moon, as well as <clears throat> FNG, they were pushing earlier, but FNG rotated bottom to help out. So once again, it's back to farming, I suppose. But if you look at the Ancients coming out of Power Rangers, Lich has been using the time to stack whenever like he's not eating creeps. And this is the beauty of a Lich duel offlane. He doesn't really need to stay in the lane that much to gain levels. Um, the sacrifice alone is fairly decent, and that allows her to rot him. It oh, no, never mind. I thought Moon might be in trouble. Oh, he still might be. The attack, the Moon speed is there from the battle hunger, but Moon, he should be speedy enough. The creeps won't block him. The swarm is there, newbie. He's gonna he really ult. wants it. He's gonna get it as well. Oh god, that's a really important pickup axe. He hits level 5, almost 6, but there's Scandal with the Blink Glass, so they need more. The damage is not enough for the timing. Two stacks of Sticky Napalm, no under the Firefly. He gets the Berserker Skull, he tanks the Grief for the extra movement speed. A nice thought, it wasn't enough, but now Scandal, Shallow Grave, it's spying him some time. Newbie, he's gonna have to back off because he doesn't have any mana for the time lapse. And well, at least they get the counter kill on axe and almost lost the life of Scandal. But still, killing off Moon, I think it was way more important than the Axe dying. Oh yeah, indeed. And that timely Shallow Grave just saves Scandal, and it looks like Scandal is not quite done. He still wants to make plays happen, but with that rune gone, he has to go back to base. Oh, Chesarket might be in trouble actually. What level is the Glimpse? It's only level 2, so doesn't have the huge range on it at the moment. And Oh, ZXC, oh, we might see the first primer split about to happen. With the Invis... He's just gonna blow up FNG, oh god, poor Dazzle, Shallow Grave on cooldown as well. ZXC actually didn't spot him out straight away, but it still should be enough, I mean, he sees him, he has the crit, there's the crit coming out, and oh god. Man, just demolished. Yeah, that is really nice, the damage from Thunderclap is 300, it slows, and I mean, what can a Dazzle do? He doesn't even have time to Shallow Grave himself. Oh, they're but gonna go for the Moon as well, they might get the kill, the Eclipse comes out, Newbic actually goes down! The Primal Split saves the Brewmaster himself, the kill of the Luna, but a Newbic for a Moon, not too bad. Oh man, <laughs> I don't know if that was a good ultimate from Brewmaster or a bad one, because the moment he turns on his ultimate, he goes invulnerable for a very short while, and that leaves Weaver tanking up the full Eclipse. So, somewhat awkward Oh, there, Midland, they're going to get the Lasso on PGG. Tidehunter wanted to TP in as well. I'm not too sure if he just cancelled it himself, but PGG goes down nevertheless. He was actually trying to 
exploit the rotations of Power Rangers just to go push with the Eidolon switch. Usually it's a pretty strong push, but Scandal with the early Blink Dagger just getting the jump on him. Yeah, and because Dream Team, it feels like the laning phase just hasn't gone all that well. And oh, Blink oh, Thunderclap okay. misses by ZXC bottom lane and J4, he might be in trouble, the Battle Hunger Nubik wants to chase. They have the sentry, Frostblast goes out and Jessar Cat, of course, he has the Ravage. So Dream Team, they don't want to overextend as mid tower, taking some harassment. Yeah, and look at PGG, because the laning was weaker to begin with, so they have to constantly rotate around. And him being in so many fights and dying twice, he has no items. He's nowhere near a mech, he's nowhere near a blink, he's nowhere near a BKB. So this is one of the poorest enigmas that I've seen in a while. But it's not because he's playing bad, but it's because his team needs him to make those rotations. And they just haven't been as successful as he would have wished. Well, I mean, I guess that's the... Oh, the Chain Frost goes out! It doesn't bounce at all, and J4 in some trouble in Newbie. Alas, Sukuchi should be able to net him the kill. He's under the tower, though. He has to be careful. He has the time lapse, and that's exactly what he uses as well. I mean, that Chain Frost was really questionable by Lich. Yeah, and, I mean, you, you look at Newbie, though. I mean, you just look at what Power Rangers is doing to Dream Time right now. Dream Team, sorry. Oh, dear God, I've got to get this right. <laughs> and I don't know. Oh, okay, so Nubik is gonna just straight by the Oh, of Scandal blinks in, gets the Lasso Flame Break. That's just immediately blown up and now Disruptor, nice kinetic field. One more right click, 37 HP. Thunder God's He's Wrath, please. Blink. Scandal, go for Zeus. He's still gonna go down. Three stacks of sticky napalm, blink, Scandal. Easy double kill for him and that actually is his four staff finished in one creep worth of gold. Man, this guy is so good at playing the bat rider and these initiation type but mid lane might, he might be in trouble the berserkers call come out can they get him low enough for the calling blade actually jessica Cat goes for the ravage there's the weave coming out he's so low and shallow grave won't save you against the calling blade but zx might be in trouble in return or no he's gonna be fine so just Cat. oh glimpse on moon as well that can be huge kinetic field he has the eclipse but there's so many creeps to tank it up oh god luna he killed off pgg with the lucent beam Still has the Eclipse, Primer Split came out, but Moon, he's alive, thrown up, throwing up the Dazzle in the air by ZXC, but Moon, he can just outrun them, or can he, the Tolder Boss, it's there, Tolder Toss, Tolder Boss, whatever man, as Moon, he survives, and ZXC, he's in a bad position, Thunderclap, it misses, but just barely, loose and beam, Frost Blast, ah, Eclipse as well, Newbik, immediately comes in, but has to time lapse away, oh my god. Yeah, so that was some really incredible patience coming out of Moon. He knows that like he all he needs to do is wait out for the Panda Ultimate and then dodge the Blink Stomp and he was going to be fine and that's exactly what he did. So very well played. But I just want to compare the, the carries right now. You, you look at how far behind Nubik is falling in this game. Um, just now at the Secret Shop, I thought he was going to pull off the Eternal Envy move, you know, where you buy the Ring of Health for like about 5 to 7 seconds and then you sell it again and you get the full money back and then you can just keep <laughs> rinse and repeat. It's just so cheesy, but it's so good at the same time. High, high level plays? Yeah, 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 but I guess he needs a ring of health. He's going for that Lincolns to stop Batrider from constantly jumping him. But knowing that like the, the high level play scandal is, right, he should be able to blink in, use the force staff to proc the Lincolns later on. Oh, he gets it. it! The lasso again, Frost Blast as well. And before the time lapse can even come out, they get the kill with the help of, of course, the flame break and in the meantime Cheshire Cat with the help of the ice armor and of course the anchor smash just he took care of the quad stack of the ancients himself but mid lane we might see a huge fight the tower they want to deny it oh moon he gets glimpsed back and FNG he's alone now can they get the kill now all the spells on cooldown for ACN another TP coming in man they want to defend this tier 1 tower with their lives or at least get it denied yeah, and now Tidehunter has a four staff as well, so whoever gets called or whoever gets glimpsed, he can always help to save his teammates with the four staff. And wow, this is a fat lich as well. Look at him. Five kill, two death, two assists, already has mech and wow. boots. This mech it's just gonna help them so much in the fight, especially keeping heroes above the culling wave threshold. That can be huge in the fights and well I mean Cheshire Cat, he isn't all that tanky on the tide yet. He does mitigate some damage with the Kraken Shell as well as the South Shield. And well, who's really fat is Scandal. I mean, looking at the net worth, he's almost 2k above the highest farmer on Dream Team. 
He has the 4 staff, Ogre Club, 700 gold on top of that, and well, ZXC. He got the kill on Luna with the double damage. And no ultimate necessary, just blink in, thunderclap, a few right clicks, I guess that was about it. Mm -hmm. So right now in this game, it's interesting to see both carries are not doing exceptionally well. They stacked up a lot for Power Rangers, but instead of giving it to Luna... Oh, BGG Flame Break! Oh god! That was so <laughs> close, he just barely managed to get the TP out. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> well, at least Axe has his blink dagger now, so that may be a huge pickup for them. Yeah, it's somewhat late though, we're 15 minutes into the game, and... Wow, okay, so no fear is gonna go down again. And I just want to mention, like, 15 minute blink dagger on Axe, right? It just doesn't provide that much for your team, because look at it, he's bare naked. He has 1000 HP, he's gonna blink into people, call, and then he has to run for his life, because after the call, he's paper thin. This is a real, really, really thin Axe. And it just goes to show just how tough of a time he's had during the laning stage and look at where PR is going at the moment that aggressive ward they're just double mining Tidehunter just as a bodyguard to the Dazzle to make sure he actually survives the warding and oh god they might get another kill on this Raptor or PGG Scandal is there he actually just stands there he gets stunned up he actually might go down the right clicks are there new week actually Scandal oh the Shallow Grave just in the nick of time that's a chain for thrown to the Ravage my god that combination and new week doesn't get the time lapse again <laughs> Oh man, did you see that? Scandal was killed by neutrals. <laughs> oh man, that's so unfortunate for him. The center just coming in, helping out the team, but PGG, he doesn't have a blink or anything, Cheshire Cat. Oh PGG, he's in so much trouble, no TP, no nothing, nothing to escape to. Wow, okay, and so far I don't think, have we ever even seen a black hole in the game? Well, we sure have not, and... I mean, PGG, he's really actually struggling. He has less net worth than J4 on the Lich does. That's not a position you want to be in. And Dream Team, they actually have a really aggressive mid la mid game centric lineup. And so far, mm -hmm. it looks like Power Rangers are just having the better of it. Yeah, but interesting enough, both carries are not getting the farm. It's it's those aggressive heroes. You you look at net worth, right? Batriders at top, and then followed by the Brewmaster. So essentially, it's the two mid solo, the, the two guys who are going off at are going at it. You know, like they were dueling constantly. But at the end of the day, their net worth is roughly the same. And then you get to the Luna, and Weaver is just falling behind. Essentially, he doesn't have flash farming capabilities, and he's been picked off time and time again. And it looks like Scandal wants to come. For another yeah, round. Poor Newbie, he doesn't have any Newbie. items at all. One Gush. Yeah, there's the Lasso coming out. Anchor Smash, Gush as well. With the Flame Break, actually still alive. The time lapse, it comes out. He stays alive. And well, they can't chase him down anymore. Oh man, the Ogre Club plus the Magic Stick. It, it's his saving grace right there. Like, without it, he would have been dead. And now, seeing that, like... Oh, I, speaking of dead afterlife, skip. oh, he just blinks out as FNG would have gotten the first point of damage in. Although afterlife, he's still in the enemy jungle. Dazzle, does he really want to chase him solo? I mean, everybody else is just on the bottom lane and axe TPs to, <laughs> to the hill, or blinks to the hill and TPs out rather. But DT, they want to go for the tower, the tier 1 is completely at full HP. They don't have Ravage though, 10 more seconds, if they can hold to that. And just like that, he has a blink as well. He can easily blink from where he is at the moment, from the Ancients, to just defend the tower. Yeah, and Dream Team, they're well aware that there are big ultimates gonna, like, gonna be off the cooldown. I'm sure professional teams, they have some sort of timestamp for all the big ultimates, like Tidehunter, Ravage. Oh, just like that, he blinks in aggressively, ZXC, he has the Primal Split. Tidehunter, he went in so deep alone. They have the Static Storm as well, Kinetic Field is there, just like that. Yeah, the Static Storm actually stops the Ravage, but there it comes out. Connects on three to four heroes. But Cheshire Cat, Shallow Grave still keeping him alive. New is low as well. He does have the time lap. It just cooled off. And Cheshire Cat, he gets glimpsed. There's the black hole catching four heroes. That's what they've been waiting for. Do they have to the follow up though? FNG, he's still alive. He's trying to heal up. He goes down. It's a two for one for the time being in the afterlife. Going for J4. Moon is there. He has the Eclipse though in the afterlife. It's, he's gonna die to it, so... Make it a 2 for 2 as PGG, 1 loose and beam, Scandal is there, and yeah, Moon gets the double kill. So a 3 for 2 in the end, and it looked pretty strong They're for Dream done. Team at the start. 
Oh, they might get more. ACN, nowhere to run Scandal, even getting the body block off. Oh my god, that's a triple kill for Moon all of a sudden. And right now, Scandal still has the Flaming Lasso. If anyone, well, by anyone, I mean Brewmaster, because he's the only survivor. But if he turned around and tried to do anything funny, uh, he would have died there as well. And now, with so many heroes down, it seems like Power Rangers are going to go for the Roche. I'm not too sure if... Oh, okay, Tidehunter's here. Then they should be able to take off this Roche on before Dream Team will be able to rotate over. Oh, man, this... This fight, it was just so damn good for Power Rangers. I really thought that Cheshire Cat went in way too deep, way too aggressive alone. But him just being tanky and Dream Team, they were a bit conservative, of course, with their own spells. They were like, okay, we can't blow everything on the Tide Hunter because after that we might be in trouble. But well, they were in trouble anyway, and I guess it. Oh, Newbig! A lasso by Scandal once again, blink by Cheshire Cat and Newbig. This time there's no time lapse, and they might lose ACN once again. He's going for the TP out, and well, Tidehunter doesn't have a stun on him. Well, wow. right now, if we look at Nubek's kill-death assist ratio, this is essentially the reverse of the last game. He is just struggling, and Scandal, like, I, don't, I have nothing to say. He's been spot on, looking for those kills. Um, I, I don't understand oh, why he has someone sitting behind him. He actually uses the Static Storm, he's still alive, he uses the Glimpse as well, but... man. Being caught <laughs> inside the Static Storm with the Tide Hunter. I mean, Tide Hunter dropped really low. And top lane, oh, Afterlife might be in huge trouble. Or ZXC. He wants to go aggressive. Gets the clap on the Moon. Moon has the PKB, but he has the Aegis as well. So he can die once and PGG. Scandal comes in. They use the Chain Frost on PGG and they will get the kill or will they? The mech comes out. Flame Break to push him back. No, he can't run away from Sticky Napalm or ZXC. They're trying to save him so bad. They put prop the Primal Split. And Scandal, he gets dunked. They have the extra movement speed Moon. Thrown up in the air as well. I mean, I really thought they're gonna kill off PGG. But now Moon, he gets stunned as well. He's gonna lose the ages. And yes, he is. So that's wow. two dunks for Afterlife. But I think this is time for Dream Team to retreat. The ultimate's on cooldown now. Yeah, and then Moon is just gonna stand his ground now that he has the BKB up and ready. But at the same time, Power Rangers, that was what? Three heroes up against, I don't know, three on three, was that? I think it was 3-on-3 three three at least to begin with. Mm -hmm. So, but Tidehunter and the Shadow Priest, they just continued and they took down the tier 2 tower. So, I felt even though they, Power Rangers lost the Aegis and Bat Rider died, they did kind of make up for it as well. And if you look at the Gold Graph and X2 Graph, yeah, and this is exactly what we would have expected in a game like this. 10,000... Over 10,000 go advantage for Power Rangers. And in terms of XP, it was at 14,000, but it's somewhat decreased slightly, or stabilized, I would say. Well, I mean, even if it stabilizes, you're still at a huge disadvantage. And just look at the positioning of the Tide Hunter at the moment. If Dream Team come to defend this, they're going to regret this heavily. But so far, they just want <laughs> to go for the trades, maybe get the tier 2 mid lane. Yeah, indeed. Uh, Dream Team, they've got... Pretty okay pushing of their own. PGG with the Eidolons is going to chip away at mid tower and Weaver. But Weaver is struggling so much. Now forced to go for a BKB. But I don't think BKB is quite enough. In this game, he needs a BKB plus the Lincolns. And plus the DPS items before he can even think about fighting up against Power Rangers. He needs to have the split pushing power. And that, that's what you get for, from a Lincolns. But with a BKB, Batrider can still just go in and pull him any way he likes. And if you're going to be caught by the Batrider, you're going to be able to pull off any of your BKB magic immunity stuff. And the, the odds are you will still get bursted down before you can do anything. I mean, this Weaver really... Usually we see Weavers that maybe don't struggle as much but still don't have too much of an impact. But this is just a combination of the two. Zero impact and struggling as all hell. I mean, just if you're forced as a first item BKB on Weaver... That already tells the so story of how bad things are going for you. Yeah, um, dream, dream Team. I'm trying to analyze and see like what are some of the things they can do to come back into the game. But it's so difficult because right now Power Rangers are grouped up as five. So the only way you can deal, deal with a five-man push is either full-on clash and hope to win, or you avoid it and push out the other two lanes as much as you can. Because all five heroes 
are visible on the map for Dream Team right now. The only question is whether or not they can push fast enough up against Power Rangers. And with Luna, with Anchor Smash on the Tidehunter, this is going to be extremely hard to do. But it's by far their best bet in this game. Just being able to pull apart Power Rangers by like split pushing, forcing individual heroes to defend different towers, and then engaging in a 5 on 3 or like 5 on 2 engagement. You, you gotta win with just overwhelming manpower. Like you gotta have more players in a fight to win for a dream team right now. And uh, well, it looks like Power Rangers, they won't even give them that uh, space to get some farm or get the split push going because they're going for a tier 3 straight up and I mean, Dream Team, they can defend this, but just look at how Power Rangers, they have the Luna up front, just to make sure that they ha aren't grouped up for a Berserker Skull Black Hole combination. Oh my goodness, those Glaives, they're just bouncing on PGG, took them down to less than half Oh, just got blinks in as well, PGG, he goes down before he achieves anything. Oh, does he have the buyback? Yeah, he does. But that means no blink or anything to actually get into position properly. Yeah, look at it. These glaives are just stopping anyone. Oh, they go in those ZXC. He wants to go to scandal with the BKB. He catches Newwick. There's the eclipse as well by Moon with his own BKB activated. And everybody just has to back off. Two already down for Dream Team. Both by back to when Moon. Oh, the black hole comes out, but it gets cancelled by the chain frost. And the chain frost does a lot of damage with the ravage coming out as well. Two heroes go down. One of them already pulled back. And afterlife, nothing for him to do. And I think this actually might be GG Moon. Newbie, he wants to kill off the Luna at the very least. He does succeed in doing so. But ZX is slowed down with the right clicks, with the sticky napalm. They will get the kill. Well, he's still alive, yeah. but <laughs> in the end, he does fall. So, a 4 for like 7, I think, with all the buybacks. Or 1 for 7, well, okay. that is, I mean. <laughs> Yeah, so that was multiple buybacks. I, I know there was at least a buyback from Enigma as well as uh, Brewmaster. So, Brewmaster, I felt he didn't micro his ultimate all that well. He could have done a lot more, I feel. Um, the Windwalk was never used, and I'm not too sure if he used the Thunderclap while in ulti form. But nonetheless, it feels like Power Rangers, they don't even take the racks after forcing out so many buybacks. But this is just so detrimental for Dream Team in terms of the economy. Um, with so many buybacks, you look at it, PGG, he's pretty much stuck on items. Is he, I mean, I, I really don't think Blink Dagger can make that much of a difference because they don't have any right-click damage. Um, and that's the portion of damage they, they severely need. Luna with the BKB isn't going to be afraid of just about anything. Unless you, unless she gets caught in the BKB black hole, um, but then you have so many things to break it as well. You have the chain frost, you have the flame break, you have tight hunt of the ravage, and even the the dazzle if he gets the poison touch off. So they just have so, so M power rangers just have so many ways of dealing with this enigma, that it makes it really difficult. And even if enigma does get a five man black hole, where's your follow up damage? Weaver, being one and eight in this game, just could not find his pace. And I feel like Dream Team should have done a little bit more in terms of babysitting Nubik. Oh, they find PGG scandal with the lasso and well, the glimpse was there but it was way too late for him anyway. At least ACN able to TP out on himself. But well... Oh god, I mean, the first black hole we saw, oh, Nubik in trouble as well. There's the poison touch to begin with. He has the BKB if really necessary and well, without the lasso he should be safe. He activates the BKB but he's so low already and Moon. He gets the kill with just the right clicks. Yeah, so I guess this is like Moon's revenge. It's like oh, he had the double damage time. rune, my god. I thought like, okay. I mean, Luna's <laughs> right click can't possibly hurt that much, but yeah, double it's damage. DD. Yeah, it's insane. And you can't really tell, you know, it looks like a natural Luna's aura kind of thing. It feels yeah. like, yeah, it's very natural on the hero. Um, but I am so thrilled to be able to get a new custom theme for Dota 2, for those of you who have the compendium as well. And looks like we're gonna have an engagement once again. Brewmaster in ulti form, but Moon isn't afraid at all. He's just gonna right click up against everything. Yeah, essentially. I mean, the Brewmaster doesn't hurt himself and the less. So once again, on to PGG. The black hole comes off cooldown, but he's just gonna burn down. And well, Scandal, he's on a killing spree as they will chase down the Earth Panda. Oh, they're so close to killing it. it he will come back and she shall get. Oh god, I mean, if the Earth Panda would have come down, that would have been a horrible disaster for them. 
Although it's a disaster as it is already anyway. And oh, ZXC wants to go in. He's trying to do his best. But just stand up, slow down as well. There's the Ravage coming out. And with the Eclipse, PKB activated the Moon and Power Rangers. I mean, thank God for them that they were able to play this game number three after all. Yeah, but it's kind of funny because you look at Afterlife and look at what he's doing. He actually broke the tier three from Power Rangers. And <laughs> yeah, it, it was just kind of cute, I suppose. Uh, well, that means the Power Rangers, they qualify for what I think will be the land finals in Minsk, Minsk in, on the 31st of... 31st? 31st? Oh my god, my tongue is so twisted. Of May. So yeah, Power Rangers qualify. Dream Team, they still have a chance. I think they will actually play uh, the game tomorrow to decide whether they advance or not. So yeah, thank you all for tuning in. This was Hefla TV, of course. My name is Coucher. My co-caster was Mito, so if you liked what we did, be sure to follow us on Twitch and our social media, Facebook or Twitter slash Hefla TV, or check out the votes of our previous casts or this same cast on youtube.com slash Hefla So Mito, any last words? Um, nothing, I guess, uh, other than it's always a pleasure casting with you, bro. We, I think we just have such a fun time uh, watching these games, uh, being able to interact with viewers and just overall have a good time and I really appreciate it. We always have some crazy games as well somehow. Yeah, yeah. it's awesome. <laughs> Indeed it is, but yeah, that's it for the time being. We actually have another game from the same cup coming out at 21 CET, so in approximately two and a half hours. So if you're interested, tune back in for that as well. But this is going to be it for the time being, just a few songs and that will be it for this moment.